I used to be an elementary school teacher and I remember we were taught very early on to not, if you ask direct questions that to any human, like, do you understand or do you agree? There's an immense amount of pressure on there, on that question for the answer to be right. Even if you don't, there's an inbuilt part of our brain that makes us want to agree and be part of this. So we, and want to seem like we're understanding. So we're very often quite scared to to say no in those situations because no is quite a strong word. And so you're right. It's those situations is thinking that you've got agreement as the leader in that situation means you might not have because you've not necessarily used the right tactics to get that alignment. You need to be asking and questioning, not requesting alignment. You need to be questioning along the, alongside that. So you can ask open-ended questions like, does anyone have any concerns? Not, are you disagreeing, but are, is there anything you worried about in trying to make this work? Or you could do what's called a pre-mortem. You could say, okay, so here's the, we, we, we've agreed on the plan. Now let's de-risk this plan. What could go wrong? If we were to have failed, if, if we had this meeting at the end of the quarter and we, we ruefully look back and say, oh, we failed, what would probably be the cause? And then get people to proactively identify their worries or their contrary opinions even. If this happened, we'd really be screwed. So let's either examine our assumptions and decide, you know what, our plan cannot protect us against that, that inevitability or that possibility. So we need a different plan or less radically, let's at least work to mitigate it in advance if that were to occur. The idea of almost making it like game-like or taking people a little bit out of themselves to, so if this were to go wrong, what would it be rather than making that personal necessarily not attack, but because it can often get like that, can't it? In these situations where this is my idea, this is my strategy, this yes. is my initiative. Yes. I'm, you know, and for you to disagree, often I can be seen to take that personally. Right. And equally, if I think I'm disagreeing with you, that's me or disagreeing with the idea. I, you know, it might come across or I'm worried it's going to come across that I'm disagreeing with you, especially if you're the leader, you're the CEO, right? Nobody wants to be that person that is like that. So by creating a safe space, by making it more of a game yes. or making it more hypothetical, yes. 